Welcome back to Send Crypto. In today's content, we're going to update about Zilliqa Papoulos, uh, Nem and Monero, right? So, if you're familiar with this uh, channel, you know uh, I've been following about I've been following Zilliqa uh, these four coins, right? Since like they also I was just about this area of uh, they were averaging uh, 55, right? You can just go and watch this video, right? So you know just to keep up. So and uh, Zilliqa is is Zilliqa is basically not making any progression since we started this series, right? So. When we started, the outside was just about like a. Also, was just about a 55, right? 54 or 55. You can just check this link right to watch that video. So, also was 54, and then the, now the outside is 58. So, but if you understand what's going on, right? You know, it's just a normal correction, right? 55 to 54, you know, is. Uh, I mean, 54 to 48 is just a normal correction. We got a nice, you know, uh, correction just about this area. Probably gonna make a nice W, right? Let's take a look at it. We could be. I don't think we're gonna make a nice W because if you if you zoom in, you know, it's not gonna be a W. Like you can see, like it's not going to be a W. It's just gonna break the break uh, just about this area. But let's say if this week was this high, I would be expecting like a W. But you know, it's not gonna be a W. It's just gonna be a normal correction and break it. So and then uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the price action. When we started the uh, the video, the price action of a uh, Zilliqa was just about this area, but just about like 450 to 460, right? And then we went up like to almost 495, 500 before a slight pullback. And then if you watch my previous video, once once Zilliqa got to that area of uh, 50 MA, I said like Zilliqa gonna pull back, right? Gonna pull back just about this area, this area of trend line, and it pulled Zilliqa pulled back just about this area exactly, and then uh, you know about to uh, make a big run to the upside. So, and uh, if you uh, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I'm very, uh, uh, I'm very bullish about XLM, right? So, how I knew like uh, Zilliqa going to be uh, making this, you know, this move just about this area, right? Because you know XLM made that same type of move just about this area. I thought it's gonna come back down, but it just surprised me. And then, uh, if you take a look at it, XLM made the same type of correction, same exact correction just about this area. Let's take a look at it, just about this area. Just about this, excellent was like pretty bearish, right? So, and I said like excellent was gonna going to be like very bullish. So you see like this uh, M shape, Zilliqa made just about this area, break around, break above it. Now it's making another correction. So keep an eye on Zilliqa, right? Next target for Zilliqa is just to make to break this area of a uh, hundred EMA. So once we break this area of hundred EMA, I'm gonna update the price. Most likely also I'm gonna get to like a uh, sixty-seven or sixty-three in that range, right? But we're just gonna follow these coins until the R size is at least, you know, 74 to 75. And then uh, probably they're gonna make like a 50 to 6% move to the upside, right? So keep an eye on these coins, right? Don't buy because I'm making these videos, right? Just buy because you know what you're doing. It's not a financial advice. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at PPT. When you take a look at PPT, when we started the, uh, the series, PPT was 56, and then now the R size just about, kinda come back down, right? Just about 61. But when you take a look at it, it went up like to like I think like 65 to 69, even like 70, right? But you know, because of the volatility, sometimes you don't. The outside is like give you like the the closing. It doesn't give you like the you know uh, the whole total the whole like process. So it can it can be like 70 uh, for a couple of hours, and then you know if the price drop, it just you know came back down, right? So, but I remember the exact date, right? This one. Populous was very volatile, like 10 to 15 percent move up and down for like you know a 30, 45 minutes, right? Very volatile. So, but if you if you really take a look at it also, right? Populous got rejected, you know, not got a nice trend line just about this area, got rejected both by this trend line and then uh, you know the uh, area of uh, this trend line of a uh, uh, 50 MA, right? This area, double top, triple top, whatever you want to call it, right? So we came back to this area, got a big support. So what I'm expecting for pop populous, right? At least for the short term, right? I'm expecting populous just to stay within this channel, just to stay within this channel, to get more momentum, right? Because I I think like populous can make this this big wick right here. Populous can get like a big wick to big wick to the upside, just like that. Very impulse move to the upside, but it has to get like enough you know enough momentum, right? Just like that. It can go in like a one hour, two hours time frame. Populous is pretty volatile right even if you go back and take a look at the price history of populous you can see this big you know big week to the upside so 
Same thing I said about Navcoin, and Navcoin did the same thing, like went like 45% like in like an hour or so. So just keep an eye on Populous. The RSI is pretty healthy, you know, from 56 to, uh, you know, uh, 62 is, is not bad, you know, big momentum, almost like getting like, you know, 15, 20% to the upside, right, since we started this series. So the next one we're going to talk about is NEM. When you take a look at NEM, pretty much uh, like populous, right? Nice bottom formation, big divergence between the RSI and, uh, you know, price, right? You can see the RSI. Uh, let me just take this tool. You can see, you know, the price, right? Pretty much flat, right? Pretty much nice bottom formation, just like Tron, right? And then uh, you take a look at the RSI, you know, big divergence, right? Let's take a look at it. Look at the RSI, right? Moving to the upside. So big divergence between the RSI and price. You can expect at least like a, you know, NEM to a, you know, yeah, get a serious like healthy move to the upside. So I'm, I don't, I don't expect like NEM to be making back to back this a uh, serious move to the upside. It's gonna be very, you know, very healthy move. Let's say, could be making this type of move just like that, just like that. Yes, easy, easy way. Just make this type of move. None of those big wick. I don't expect it. So I'm expecting like a easy, you know, slow growth of name, right? Just and get to this area, right? Before it's like pull back a, another, you know, make a big bull flag and then I move to the upside, right? So keep an eye on them. The current RSI, RSI level is just 64. When we started the video, the RSI was just about like, a, you know, uh, I think like what, 57, right? So and then you know this bottom formation is just beautiful so keep an eye on them same same type of structure with a with a xlm right you know a big sell off to the downside nice bottom formation so the bottom formation on the R side for a name is kind of different name just let's take a look at it right name just like a, make a v shape like you know unlike a you know uh, xlm and i think zilliqa right they they made this uh, move to the you know uh, this type of you know pattern on the outside right and also like a, a Tron is making the same type of pattern right now pattern right now just like that so Tron is just about this way so I'm not sure if Tron gonna come back or it's just gonna make this way but we're just gonna have to wait and see the next couple of weeks so the next one we're gonna take a look at is Monero when you take a look at Monero beautiful bottom formation right uh, I'm pretty surprised to see Monero bearish today, right? So that's the first, uh, actually, that's the first, uh, you know, that's the first bearish candle like since like when? Uh, just about two, four, six, eight, almost like nine days, right? So of a, you know, bear, uh, bullishness, right? So it is pretty normal for NEM to come back, not NEM, but Monero to come back and retest this area, right? So I said it on my previous video, right? I'm expecting like a, you know, a rejection from this area of a, you know, area of a 50 EMA right so 100 EMA right so and then you know we could be getting a support just about this area so keep an eye on this area right so it's not going to be this big just by this area maybe 10 to 15 percent drop versus BTC so I don't even think it's going to be that much right so at the same time you got a uh, you got a resistance just about this area so I'm not looking at this resistance I'm looking at the you know uh, actually this uh, 100 EMA as a resistance because if you want to look at the price as a res resistance, it's not a resistance. The 50 EMA rejected the price, so the 50 EMA rejected the price again. So I'm not looking at this uh, uh, area of a, as a resistance, but I'm looking at these areas as a support. Nice trend line, right? Nice trend line. So you can also like draw another trend line just like this, right? Let's say you want to be bearish, right? You can say, oh, you got another. One could say it's pretty valid, right? It's pretty valid, but it's just just gonna delay the process. But I think like this trend line is you know the primary trend line, right? This one is just a you know second secondary trend line. So we we just gonna have to wait and see if name if uh, Monero gonna be able to you know stay within this uh, you know rectangles and then uh, not break this rectangle and then come back to this trend line. So I don't think it's gonna come back to it, but we just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, even if it does, you know, you still got like a, I don't think it's going to come back to it. We got a big support. We, we're going to get a big support from this 50 AMA, just like I said about uh, uh, BTC, right? When BTC, you know, before BTC came back down to this area. I mean, even on like Monero, I said it's going to come back down and re retest this area of 50 AMA and make a U-turn. So I think it's gone. Monero is, is just, it's, 
it is just getting like more momentum more, more moment momentum to go back up right so so keep an eye on monero and then uh also i'm making a u-turn to get more momentum right so big accumulation just about this area right so just about this area so expect like our side at least to come back and uh, retest this area just about this area right can come back deep into it and move to the upside so it's not a big deal it's nothing serious about a uh, monero so hopefully right it is not a financial advice so do your own research uh, i'm not a i'm not heavily like invested in any of these coins so i'm just checking them for uh, for uh, you know entertainment purposes right uh, so be uh, do your own uh, research before you buy any of these coins uh, thank you for watching